The electronic throttle control ETC system in modern vehicles replaces the traditional mechanical linkage between the accelerator pedal and the throttle plate with an electronic system. Its primary purpose is to optimize engine performance, improve fuel efficiency, and reduce emissions. The system consists of key components such as the throttle body, which contains the electronically controlled throttle plate, throttle position sensors, TPS, that detect the throttle plate angle, the accelerator pedal position sensor, APPS, that measures pedal input, the electronic control unit, ECU, that processes sensor data and commands, and the throttle actuator motor that adjusts the throttle plate accordingly. When the driver presses the accelerator pedal, the APPS sends an electrical signal to the ECU, which then calculates the appropriate throttle opening and directs the actuator motor to adjust the throttle plate, controlling engine air intake. The illumination of the ETC warning light on the dashboard indicates a malfunction or irregularity within this electronic throttle system. When this light comes on, the vehicle may enter a reduced power mode or limp mode to protect the engine, leading to delayed or inconsistent throttle response, rough idling, or even stalling in severe cases. Because throttle control is essential for safe acceleration and engine performance, this warning light is critical for driver awareness and immediate diagnosis and repair are advised to maintain safety and drivability. Common causes of the ETC warning light include faults with the throttle position sensor, which may send inaccurate data about the throttle plate's position, commonly associated with codes such as PM120 or PM220, and accelerator pedal position sensor malfunctions that confuse the ECU with incorrect pedal inputs, e.g., codes P2135 or P2138. Carbon buildup and contamination in the throttle body can cause the throttle plate to stick or respond sluggishly, triggering codes like P21119. Electrical issues such as damaged wiring or corroded connectors can disrupt sensor communication and cause various fault codes. Additionally, throttle actuator motor failures or ECU software faults can also illuminate the ETC light, though the latter is less common and often vehicle-specific. Diagnosing the ETC warning light starts with a visual inspection of the throttle body for dirt or obstruction and checking the wiring harness and connectors for physical damage or corrosion. Using an OBD2 scanner capable of reading both generic and manufacturer-specific codes, technicians can identify fault codes stored in the ECU. Sensor tests involve measuring the voltage and resistance of the APPS and TPS with a multimeter and comparing the readings against manufacturer specifications. Functional testing of the throttle actuator motor can be performed using diagnostic software to command the throttle plate movement and detect mechanical binding or motor issues. It is also important to verify if ECU software updates or recalibrations are available. A road test helps confirm symptoms under real driving conditions, and advanced diagnostics may include oscilloscope analysis of sensor signals and actuator currents for in-depth troubleshooting. Repairs for ETC system issues range from simple to complex. On the DIY level, cleaning the throttle body with proper throttle cleaner to remove carbon deposits can often resolve sticking or sluggish throttle response. Inspecting and cleaning electrical connectors, applying dielectric grease, and ensuring secure connections can fix minor wiring issues. After repairs, clearing fault codes with an OBD2 scanner helps verify the fix. Professional repairs may include replacing faulty throttle position or accelerator pedal sensors, repairing or replacing the throttle actuator motor or throttle body assembly, fixing damaged wiring harnesses, and performing ECU software updates or recalibrations with specialized tools. To prevent ETC system problems, regular maintenance is key. Cleaning the throttle body every 30,000 to 50,000 miles, or as specified by the vehicle manufacturer, helps avoid buildup that causes mechanical issues. Periodic inspections of sensors during routine diagnostics can detect early signs of failure. Maintaining the electrical system by protecting connectors from moisture and corrosion helps sustain reliable sensor communication. Additionally, keeping the ECU software up to date with manufacturer releases can prevent software-related glitches. Avoiding driving in excessively dusty or dirty environments also reduces contamination risks. When the ETC warning light appears, drivers should not ignore it. Reducing speed, 
avoiding aggressive acceleration, and driving cautiously are important steps. If the vehicle enters limp mode or throttle response becomes erratic, it is advisable to stop safely and seek professional assistance. Multiple warning lights appearing together, such as the check engine light with ETC, further indicate the need for immediate diagnostic evaluation. Until repairs are made, driving should be limited to essential trips and safe conditions to minimize risk. In summary, the electronic throttle control system is a sophisticated component of modern engine management that requires proper function for safe and efficient vehicle operation. Understanding the meaning of the ETC warning light, common causes, and diagnostic methods allows both vehicle owners and technicians to address issues effectively. Timely repairs and preventive maintenance help maintain throttle performance, protect engine health, and ensure safe driving experiences across a wide range of vehicles.